Thank you so much for keeping it why in the morning. My name is Ram Maguko and you're in time for the very last conversation of the day. Now today we are going to be focusing on career talk, how to prepare for an interview. How is it that you can prepare for an interview? What are the things that you need to do to win in an interview? This particular morning, this conversation is all about you. I know you've just finished your, your, your campus, you've finished your, you know, your courses. You want to apply for that job, but you need to know the mistakes most people do or mis most people make when they go for interviews so that you do not make the same mistakes. This conversation is for you. I'm joined by John George Simiu. He is an author, he is a trainer, and he is a HR consultant. Bona George, yes. Thank you so much and good morning. It's, it's been a long time to go to Ah, yes. Is it been... a year or 20 years? No, <laughs> just a month. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for finding time to join me, my brother. You're welcome, sir. Uh, remember the hashtag is always in the morning. Uh, give us your take, give us your comments, questions at Ram Maguko at Y254 channel. The hashtag is Y254 at 4. Make sure that you give us your thoughts in regards to to this conversation now um e even as we continue towards the tail end of uh, this show we will be awarding the winner of uh, the competition that we uh, had last friday so the, what we did was uh, remember why 254 is standing for and for being our loyal viewer we gave out you know different gift vouchers for different people bags airtime you know t-shirts we gave out a lot of things for you now today we shall award uh, airtime for one of our viewers or one of our listeners who has been participating with us and the question that we had asked was simply to name why to why in the morning presenters she did that and today we shall call her towards the end of this show to award her so you can in fact nenda kumtumia tu pesa tu as we continue na conversation with 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 Simiu here apate airtime yake and we have to confirm because maybe you think it is a lie today we shall show you that anyway why 254 is the place to be for all youths and as we continue this conversation for youths, as we talk about uh, it preparing for interviews, ask your questions. George is here to answer your questions as uh, we uh, proceed. Now, Bona George. Yes, sir. Um, let's start with uh, <coughs> steps to, to take before you uh, go for, uh, for uh, uh, you know, that particular interview. And here we are assuming the interview has been confirmed. Mm -hmm. At Nasama, uh, you've been called for a Monday morning interview. Now, you are in the house. Let's start from there. From the house, kita mm mutufika -hmm. kwa, kwa your room sasa. Which house? Your house? No, your house. <laughs> um, do we have any particular outfits for different interviews? Mm -hmm. Do we have colors that people need to look out for? Do we have any moods that people need to look out for? Preparing from the house, from the onset. Oh, amazing. Mm. Let me just maybe start from this point that um, a good application does not land you in a job, but just an interview. Let's start from there, mm -hmm. so that you manage your excitement. Mm -hmm. You call for an interview, uh, you just need to be aware that, um, well, your good letter, your good CV, and all other testimonials that you've attached, mm -hmm. or have been sold, um, asked to send in, mm. they only land you into that job in interview. Not the job but itself. Not the job itself. So, you may to interview me for right. Yes. Me you haven't got the job yet. No, 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 no. Yes, your job. Yes, your job. You've just been invited to present yourself and now from there mm -hmm. is now what will determine you leave the interview room as an employee mm -hmm. or are still seeking for a job. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what makes the difference. Mm -hmm. um, key things we need to do before and um, during and after. I think that's what we just here to mention a few yeah, things. Yeah. Before, during and after. And after. Let's start with before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there are quite a number of things we always need to do before mm -hmm. we go for that interview. And um, that is one um, to do some research about um, the organization. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you know the organization that is its values, its products, services, values, um, objectives, yeah. strategy, yeah. and anything mm -hmm. that concerns this organization? Mm -hmm. Because that's where now you begin to be relevant to anyone who is going to interview you. And that's how you can be able to know how you can, you know, uh, chip in your effort, where your input can be. Yes. Yeah, so um, before you go into that interview, I think you really need to do that. Mm -hmm. um, just do some um, background check or rather get some information in regards to that. Very important. Mm -hmm. 
And um, uh, that, that entails making a few calls, Google searching that particular yeah, organization. Yeah, most of the information is online now. Mm -hmm. That organization, perhaps it has a website. You can go there and read some things. Or maybe you have some people who've been or other worked in that organization. They can share with you some important information. So those are some of the things you do before you um, go into the interview. Mm -hmm. um, also prepare your outfit, as you mentioned when you started. Mm -hmm. um, think of how I dress. This is the organization I'm going into. So mm -hmm. what, I think, what I think is so important to them. So how you dress is very important. Mm -hmm. I plan about that. Also make sure that um, all the required documents are ready. Like, like if they mentioned... Um, for documents, cop original copies or uh, uh, just a photocopy of that? Well, um, all the employers, if not most, will always mention to you that uh, when you're coming for the interview, bring us um, maybe the original copies mm -hmm. of you, something like that, mm -hmm. of your documents. Mm -hmm. um, it's needed at some point. So if they did mention that, please yeah. cut it. Got but it. also if even they don't, there's no harm. Have them because no. at some point somebody will want to verify that they look at these documents. Okay. Well, there's another verification that will happen after that mm. during the background check of you, but still just come with your original documents. Now, um, George, yes, uh, I believe uh, we've checked your mic, I believe you're good now. Uh, so you're saying in regards to this, colors, yeah, how you dress matter or mm. how you dress into interviews matter mm -hmm. uh, because one, it shows how serious you are about this job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I, I wonder why you should not take it much um, serious or anyone mm -hmm. and, and realize these are serious um, kind of engagement you're going into. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, one, you have to think about what you'll put on. And this goes with um, the outfit, yeah. uh, the accessories, and things like that, the colors that you're going um, for with. Are there you don't go into an interview um, dressed up in a like kind of you look like a Christmas tree, you know it looks funny. <laughs> uh, how do you define a Christmas tree? I'm a Maridadi, <laughs> yeah, Maridadi mob and all that with, with a lot of uh, yes. you know, decorations. Mm. You don't need that. No, you don't need that. Um, Is it okay to be go? modest? Are, are there colors that someone should yes. avoid? Avoid shouting colors. Kamagani. Um, Although I know, I know men are come <laughs> colorblind. <I don't> know. <laughs> um, there are many yellow. Uh -huh. You get it? Avoid uh, yellow clothes. Yellow, purple. 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 Blue. Blue is cool. Red. Uh, maybe with a mix of something, but not entirely red. Mm. Yeah. If, 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 if a man <coughs> comes with a red tie to an interview, is that That's okay? okay? That's okay. But imagine you're doing a red suit. That's a no. Uh, for well, suit, look for well, black. Yeah, look at the corporate colors. Let me just put it that way. Mm -hmm, corporate mm -hmm. colors. Like, like, like most organizations, they can always show you what are some of the colors that they really appreciate and things like that. Mm -hmm. so, so, so if you're able to really look into that, then that's okay. All right. Yeah. Corporate colors, we have uh, uh, maybe for someone who doesn't understand what you mean by uh, mm -hmm. corporate colors. What are these colors that uh, appear or are corporate? Uh, like somebody say, um, you never go in wrong with blue, um, black, uh -huh. grayish. Nice. Something um, a bit dull. Not um, the, my like well, how you dress, I think that's awesome. This is navy blue. <laughs> mm. I don't know if you're so, sure, you know, so, men are. Huh? <laughs> are you sure that's navy blue? <laughs> Someone told me it is navy blue. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but corporate colors, and yeah. this is uh, gray. Grayish, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. In the gray, isn't it? Ah, I'm you, you, you know, so there are those colors that um, at some point they'll really draw a lot of attention on you. Mm -hmm. Like people are looking at, hey, okay, look at this guy. Okay. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, it applies for both men and... Men and female. Uh, male and female. Yeah, sure. Okay. With okay. us men, we don't have a lot of tr trouble with that because uh, actually most of the men... Um, for, 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 for a lady, if uh, you're doing an interview, mm -hmm. makeup, do they also have any effect on it? Is it okay to go there with, you know, um, uh, colors? Is there, uh, is, is there a way mm -hmm. makeup should be, especially for an interview? If today you are invited to, um, by the president to visit them, how will you do it? That's the question I'm asking that lady. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, you'll want to look decent your best, and I think that is it. So you don't overdo it, and then you um, don't find yourself mm -hmm. having something that um, you think you need to maybe add a little. For someone who has certain color, 
of hair ndopa mtu amenda akatengeza nyole ya yellow nyole ya blue mm-hmm. are they okay iko sawa well now that's why i said look at the organization do some um, do, do they have people of that caliber in that organization like if someone came here um, are you working with people of that type mm-hmm. so you notice hair style. yes when you done your background you realize oh this is how they dress this is how they they do their grooming mm-hmm. and that's okay but again right. also goes back to the kind of a job you are applying for mm-hmm. ah and those jobs they are very comfortable with it and, All right. yeah let's look at your cv you're preparing to go to that interview mm-hmm. how prepared uh, what are the things that you need to look into in regards to your cv before you go to that interview one know your cv before you go into that interview inside out like because um we will just be asking you to establish okay whatever you said in the, in the cv is it true mm-hmm. to some people maybe somebody prepared a cv for you and you even never taken time to look at it so you'll be asked oh, okay mr ram we've seen uh, you worked in this organization and you had this experience on um, could you please tell us a little bit about this then you're wondering okay how you so have also this is my CV, <laughs> <laughs> and you're that's the midst of an interview. And some lie. <laughs> yeah, some lie. So that's why even if you uh, remember our last conversation, I mentioned something that don't lie. Be very honest. Come on, ujui, ujui. Um, even in your CV, mm-hmm. there are those things that people include there, but they don't reflect anywhere, or rather, there is not them. Don't, don't don't put them anywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah interesting thing there because that is where the, <coughs> the the problem comes in yes and um, whatever you're saying is not reflecting on your cv yes so you are, you are appear to be a crude uh, yeah. you know and um, then that's how you lose the job you know your um, intention is to get this job do we have um do, sh- should someone you know look at themselves in the mirror because I, mm-hmm. I, I don't know if you do that, but many people do that. Mm-hmm. You know, you look at yourself in the mirror. You know, you talk to yourself before you go to that interview. Yeah. You know, to just give yourself that emotional, um, you know, psych. You know, um, in, in terms of psychology, mm-hmm. psycho- psychological preparation, what should someone do? Um, preparation is very important when you go in any interview. Mm-hmm. How should someone want to go in a context without prepar- preparing for it? How do you expect to win when you're not prepared? Mm. Yeah. And, and now I think um, that now takes you back to mm. that will help you build up mm. your confidence. One of the things that make people lose this, um, lose at job interviews, one is the confidence. And confidence is built up by preparation. Mm. So knowing what to prepare and how to prepare is very important. Mm-hmm. So um, part of it, as you mentioned, I'm um, just really not rehearsing because at some time even you, you'll sound you have rehearsed your answers in an interview. So mm. I- it's not real. You look lo- uh, like a robot. Yeah, very plastic. <laughs> <laughs> but, but just um, really prepare well. All right. Let's enter the room now. Now you're in the, I- in the interview. Mm-hmm. Um, how should you handle yourself? Uh, they've just told you, um, <coughs> Umagonga. Mlango, wakasema, ha, enter. Mm-hmm. Now here, this is Rama Guko. I'm in Yakwa room. What should someone do? Well, um, it depends with what type of interview, because interviews even start from the get, sometime. <laughs> <laughs> from the watchman? Uh, yeah, it could be even from the watchman. Uh, you, you're thinking the interview started here when you enter the door. Huh. So I think you should just be careful. What do you mean, <laughs> the interview started at, at the watchman? They, 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 Okay, I don't know. I don't know if I watch too much movies, but what, will they be putting like some undercover guy there to, <laughs> to put on that, uh, you know, uh, uh, uniform? Well, um, somebody will be maybe just asked to comment about you. How was that guy when he came in? Like now the Ottoman. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, he was so rude. He was. You get it? Wow. You get it. So, so always um, be be nice. Yeah, to be everyone. nice to everyone when you're going for the, to those interviews. There could be the reason why you can either lose or get yes, a job. Yes, because you never know. Maybe even um, whether they intended or not, maybe even the person uh, doing the interview ask, okay, um, this guy came a bit late. What happened? Did he? Yeah. Okay. That. So the interview uh-huh. starts from afar some time. Mm-hmm. Some time now the interview is starting at uh, the table now when you are in the panelists. Mm-hmm. Now you just asked. Uh, now you go in the room. Um, depending with the setup, uh, also that will influence how you start. Mm. Yes. Well, at some point, um, the interviewers or rather the panelists will um, lead you on what to do. Should you, the first thing, um, you'll wait for instructions. I think that is. Don't do not sit. 
<laughs> I think um, it's just be um, courteous enough to ask if it's needful for you to sit. Come okay. in. Of course, mm -hmm. we're expecting you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If that is, um, you are now in the interview room. When they'll they... tell you, please have a seat. <laughs> Usifanya makosa kwenda tu na unakaa tu. No, but still you can just sit because actually I expecting you so. Mm. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's still okay. But have some um yeah, courtesy, courtesy yeah. to wait for them to yeah, give yeah. instructions. Hi, my name is George Smith. I'm here for mm. the interview. Mm. Can I sit please? Say yes. When it comes to answering the questions, what are the common mistakes people do when it, uh, when it comes you know uh, to answering questions uh, in interviews? Um most people um they're not real sometimes. Like um, you, 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 you've crammed some answers. Mm. You get it. Yeah, those um, common questions that we normally expect in an interview. Yes, but also I'll try to make them real. Sometimes you'll see an interview coach will tell you, hey, Ram, when you go there and ask this question, this is how you say. Mm. So you'll expect that question and then good luck if it comes your way. Mm -hmm. Then you'll just see the way you're putting it here, this guy. What, what do you do when they ask you about the amount of uh, salary you are expecting? Because they will say, okay, you've come, <laughs> how much do you expect to be paid? Oh. And you have no clue, <laughs> you cannot have uh, missed to have any um, information to say about that. Mm. When we say you're doing background check, or not really getting some information before you went for that interview, yeah. you, you at least have to do what we call a market research. Uh, people at that level, how much are being paid? Let me give an example. For example, in mm. journalism, people are paid differently. Mm -hmm. not, even, not, not every presenter is paid in the same, same uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, amount. <coughs> That's true. So um, even those who are working in one particular organization, not everyone mm -hmm. is paid uh, mm -hmm. similarly. So you will find so many different figures and you will not know which one to choose. Yes. Should you go for the highest? It's still okay. It's still okay. Someone's, uh, it's still okay. And now that takes us back to something else. Well, uh, once you know uh, how the industry is paying, mm -hmm. that's very important. But number two, also know your brand value. You get it? Mm -hmm. So that you don't short change yourself. And that's why we are, we are now mentioning that we have um, journalists um, who are being paid more than others mm -hmm. because of the value they bring to the organization. Their brand. Their brand. Mm -hmm. How much have you invested in yourself and indeed, when we are interviewing you, we can say that indeed this guy will add value here. Oh. Because that also becomes your negotiating point. So do you know your value? Based on your experience, the skills you have, and things like that. So is it, is it, <laughs> is it um, also okay to just um, you know, give a value that you feel mm. exceeds your brand? I'm just going to give this value. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, but, but what should you do that? Why, why do that? Could there be oh, chances that you, you, you can actually be paid that amount of money? If the organization has a budget that allows and they can really see mm. um, the value you bring in, they can pay you that. Mm -hmm. But still, it goes back to if, they're, 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 like now you see these government jobs, it's already there is a structure. Yeah. Yeah. You just know this person will fall in job group, a uh, particular job group. That's different. Mm -hmm. But now, if now it's in the private sector, perhaps yeah. that's where now you can negotiate. When it comes to um, questions that are being asked, someone asked you a question, but as you started, you, mm -hmm. are, you, know, you are still anxious. You're panicking. You're like, sure. oh, yeah. and then you, you give out a wrong answer, and then mm -hmm. uh, as you're answering the next qu question, you realize, I, or sometimes even realize it later on, mm -hmm. after you've asked, how best should someone answer a question in a way that makes them appear to be calm, mm -hmm. confident, and composed? Wow, amazing. One of the things that people lose is, um, it's not wrong to ask for the interview or the panelists to repeat whatever you do not understand. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, so, sorry, Sam, I, I didn't get what you said. Please, kindly, do you mind to repeat? Okay, okay. So that somebody can repeat it, so you get it right. It's uh -huh. not wrong. It's not wrong. Some people will not get it, and they'll just go ahead to answer. Because of fear, 
Mm -hmm. uh, they're anxious, uh, kind of they are panicked. Mm -hmm. Then also if you feel you're not calm, you're not uh, composed, mm -hmm. tell them that I feel a bit nervous, but um, um, I think I'll be able to really get hold of myself as we move on. Is there a way you should stand when once you've entered the room, a particular, particular position? Uh, stand. Mm. As you're standing there, sh should, how should your arms be, your, your hands, where should they be? Um, there is no standard <laughs> way of standing anyway, but just look modest, at least. Mm. Look composed. I think that's look the best term. Composed. Time. Okay. Look composed. Uh, somebody who has confidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, during an interview, you have been put in, a, in, in, in that chair and mm -hmm. uh, you're asked a question about your, your referees. Uh, you know, how best should you respond in regards to the referees that you put on your CV? Question on referees, mm -hmm. um, whether they are there or not. Yes, yes. Well, if they are there, then um, it depends on the type of question I'm being asked. Maybe mm -hmm. they want to contact them, that's okay. Unless you have some issues with them, that's when maybe you'll be a bit more hesitant. But now that takes us back to what we mentioned when you're talking about um, referees. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's move on after the interview now. So we started before, during, now after. Uh -huh. After the interview, I think that is very important for you to keep in touch with the, 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 uh, your employer or the mm -hmm. person who, is, um, uh, who had an interest mm -hmm. in you. That is, you can uh, maybe even just send an email to them mm -hmm. and tell them, oh, thank you so much for giving an opportunity to really show you who, I'm, who, who am I. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, my brother. You. Um, I appreciate your presence. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Um, I think, I, 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 I hope we've touched on everything. I, because of the interest of time, I cannot be able to read all of your comments. I'm seeing uh, questions have, uh, have come, and I believe you've uh, managed to answer all of them. Um, do you have uh, maybe can give you 10 seconds to give to have a final word to someone who is preparing for an interview mm -hmm. if i make that call to our own winner amazing um prepare well for these mm -hmm. jobs jobs okay. are there mm -hmm. so uh, what makes the difference is how prepared you are and how you sell yourself in that job um interview mm -hmm. that's what will make a difference when you leave that room as a person um, with a job or you know the job all right sure thank you so much Welcome. I appreciate it. So, um,